establish his sands and cast them into an everlasting lake of fire. I believe in God, and I know there is a hell. I work as a short order cook on the third shift at the Dewdrop Inn. Dumpster baby, you dumped me baby, took a dump on me baby, like I was something barely alive. Now tell me baby, who's the daddy of that baby, baby, during a dumpster dive? Welcome to, uh, well, we're, it's an edition of Manchester Famous, and if I move away, you can, which way should I move? Which way do you want me to move? You can see it's the Gonzo birthday show. Where is our uh, guest, Kyle? Kyle is my co-host today for the, um, oh, what, oh, there we go. There we are. Um, Where is our guest today? Hey, maybe we should have that back. Where is our guest today? He is doing Gonzo things, which can mean... Literally anything, John. Literally anything. Is he with uh, the woman that we met from uh, uh, the Greasy Spoon? He may be. Um, I don't think she had much interest in him, unfortunately. We did try to get her on to try to pep things up around there. He is the Greasy Spoon, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, so uh, you can check any local alley, and I'm sure you can find him doing something somewhere. But Are you sending him a message like, where are you, you F.A.? I won't spell out what the F.A. means. Um. No, I'm, I'm sure he'll be up momentarily. He wanted me to introduce him as the birthday boy. Oh, can we have? Can we go to the middle camera and we can we can can we zoom in on the bir- the little girl with the birthday cake? Can we? Or I don't know where do I where do I move? Let, let's zoom in on the birthday cake. Isn't that something? I sa- I seem to see a slacker outside. Or it could be Norm, the ghost of Norm. Can you shut the door, please? You, come on, dude. It's not even your real birthday. It is his birth. It's his birthday show. It's your birthday show. Yes, you have. You can, uh, is your camera. friend Jeff coming? It's my birthday. Can you sit down? Is Jeff coming? Maybe. Well, we have a, sh- uh, a chair I know, there I know. for. Indiana uh, bandana. Yeah, I'm wearing your stupid bandana for you. <sighs> Did you make these bandanas, a Gonzo? Yeah, I did at Hobby Lobby. I bought them. You bought them at Hobby Lobby. You did not make them. This is electric, as Kyle would say. <laughs> I agree. Um, Kyle's wearing one hundred seventy dollars glasses. He that, is. That is true. Yeah. Did you pay for them one hundred seventy dollars? Did you? you know, they Those come aren't your, your fingerprints. Um, no, I did not pay for them. Thank you for the question, guys. Um, they were given to me. Deflecting is that? That's what that was. You said the f. Did you just f bomb? Nope, I d bombed. Deflecting. Deflecting, yeah. So, yeah. So, I mean, I'm just a person. It's nice It's nice to be honored. Um, turning 44. You weren't supposed to say that we were going to have a ge- them guess your age. Oh, jeez. Is there anything <laughs> you can't screw up? Um, great no. Question. No. I don't know. I've been doing that lately. Have you been the uh, on the morning show with Peter White since he got back? Yeah, yeah. We. I, I was on the premiere opening episode. Uh, on Tuesday. Yeah, I was on Tuesday. Season season eight, I believe. Yeah, I um I filled in during the uh, what would you call it the winter the winter dull the winter lull. 
You mean I thought on that Tuesdays. was Joel and uh, Mike Doyle that did yeah, that? I came in on Tuesdays, pump up some views. Uh, I do you mean you took you actually broadcast the morning show while he was away? Oh yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. We crushed it uh, right there in the studio. No, we're not allowed in the studio without Peter. No, we can't do that. So I take initiative, John, and um, I that's right. You're the co-host. Kyle's yeah. in charge when Peter. Go if Peter were to, you know. Can you move that uh, bandana? It yeah, is yeah. Unsightly it, on screen. If um, so is that better? If, if 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 Peter were to, you know, meet his, you know what, Kyle would be the new host, like a VP. It'd be the morning show with Kyle Clean. <laughs> I don't think that's true, but um, no, we just while he's on vacation, we try to uh, fill the void, if you will, by um, doing a podcast. Yeah. yeah, because we have a lot of uh, morning show followers that will. Uh, I'm friends with on Facebook. Which Brendan, is roll the podcast, please. Please don't roll the podcast. <laughs> um, that that will tune in, and um, we d we'd actually we did pretty well. We said we we're going to do all five days. We did two. Yeah, we did two in the you middle. You did two instead of five. Two Correct. in the middle. Though. Oh, that's why you were on so early in the morning. Right. It's tough. It is yeah. tough. Yeah. Um, well, we it's don't have an agenda. Well, we have bullet points. Um, that's one of the reasons Joel uh, but no longer did it, because he used to take his girlfriend, Shirley, who uh, is the uh, head of the meat department down at Shaw's <laughs> in Merrimack. Talking? No. And she had to be there very early, so he was here early. <coughs> and then he became a lot, you know, I was his campaign manager. He finally got elected to the state house. And so it became irritating to be there at 7. Finally be elected, yeah. I mean, you, you're still waiting well, on that Well, he ran day. many times. So have you, right? I've, I lost, I've lost five elections if, I, if I'm And remember. he was, what, three? I don't know. You'd have so to ask Peter that. Peter used to be his campaign manager. But compared He'd run for school board, and the next year... He'd run for the state house, and he lost, except for the time I was his manager and cut my <laughs> tip of my finger off, by the way. So, they uh, put it back on the Peter is... Oh, it's this one, isn't it? I don't, I don't know. They did such a good job gluing it on. They oh do. They God. glue it back on. That's science, I guess, yeah. Sounds like an injury from your army days. Oh, well, that was radiation. <laughs> if you can't tell which finger you lost, um, then they did, they did a very good job. So oh. I'd like to thank Peter with talking about him. He actually joined our our, our broadcast and uh It was this one. <laughs> you have that to one. sabotage my show, huh? First no, of all, you it's your birthday show. First of all, can we switch seats? Well, I was cutting some because uh, <laughs> what we did was we recycled <laughs> Joel's uh posters, you know? Right. And so we would just, you know, cut them up and then put like state rep from somebody else's signs no way and i cut my and i bled all over the rug but like shirley the late shirley said well, we still miss to this day isn't it w when we came in we thought a pipe had broken because there was water in the floor but isn't it nice because i wiped up all the blood before i went to the emergency room at the va very generous of you. i'm getting i'm getting i'm getting something from shirley don't go down I'm there. getting something. I will kick you right in the nuts. I'm getting something. And she wants to just... this much of a... Uh, she I wants to yeah. say that you bled weird. Is that true? Did you bleed No, weird? I bleed red. I'm an American. But did you have it... Was it thin blood? How do you like your birthday cake? Were you drinking at the time? How do you like your birthday cake? Do we made that for you. Oh, thanks, Kyle and Hopwood. Yeah, that's your that? little. That's your little girl. That's in a few Liberty. Years. When she grows up. Oh, so you can do. F you La can. Liberté. You can do. Uh, predictions of the future, but I can't. I can't do a reading. No, you can't. You know, it's not. You have too to wait old. A f about a, uh, until five o'clock. Can you believe they let us do this? This is great. <laughs> no, um, I can't believe that we're <laughs> letting you on the show again. But Kyle, do you have any questions? I've yes, yeah. Gonzo. All right, so I'm really, I'm ready to take undisclosed interview. Like I'm ready to reveal <laughs> the goods. Brendan, do we have the uh, number f for people to call in? It's not for us, cause as screen. we're looking at the screen, but it is always on the screen. Thank That's you, how you can tell when the show is live. Yep. Or is it even on the uh, reruns? No, because I'm not picking up the phone when you're not online. Oh. That's true. Jeez, oh, I very, never thought of that. Point, huh? Very good point. Now, what embarrassing questions do you have for your friend, Mike Gonzo Gonzalez? I wouldn't necessarily call them embarrassing. 
Why have you thought about, like, you don't have any questions, right? Yes, he has. I have a couple. All right, well, let's keep it clean. You know, we have regulations. Um, so, Michael, um, <laughs> what are you, uh, uh, 57? Is that what you said? I'm turning 44. 44, my apologies. Yeah. Um, so, what did you actually want to be when you grew up as, as a youth? I wanted to be an artist. You, oh, you, that's BS. You I did. On. I wanted to be an artist and a baseball player. Okay. So you failed as a baseball player, no, and then you became an artist. No, I achieved everything there was to achieve as a baseball player. So you got into like the the big, they got into the show, the big leagues. Yeah, um, at the ground. time, yeah, at the time, um, MVP Ken Griffey Jr. had just got like um, drafted as an eighteen year old, if you remember, for the Mariners in eighty nine. He is so a he lot kinda, older than you. So he ruined it for me, though. Like they Reason said, you have to go to one year of college. How old are you? How old, how much older are you? This is two years ago, when I got drafted. <laughs> you have to go to a year to college to get drafted. Two years? Baseball? No, you got to go to two years. No, you don't. Baseball is different. I screwed that up. There's no rules in, in uh, drafting in baseball. Actually. Right, but no. You drafted in you high can go school. In a what did I want to be when I grew up? I wanted to be a difference. Did you ever th- want to actually make a living and support a family? Because cause Gonzo's just one person. Did you ever, is, was that like, you know, I will go. No, I never really thought about that part. School and I'll get a nice job. No, nah, never thought about kids. that part. Uh, what I did is I Googled all the Michelles in the area because it looks like Michael. And I knew if I could just get Michelle Gonzalez on a license or a credit card, if you will. Um, and I, who I is could Michelle? Pretend I'm fr- I could pretend I'm French. And I could just use the credit card forever. So I, I found pretend, one that was cute. Polish. I found a cute Michelle, and I wooed her. That was much later, though. That Weren't was you in your thir- late 30s when this I happened? Was, no, no, 31, and she was uh, a hot 20. Yeah. Th- a, is a, this an true? Even call? 20? An even 20. Like even Steve and hot 20. And, you couldn't uh, even take her to a bar. Like just fresh out of cheerleading and... Um, I still Fresh remember the leading where I still remember those Your Manchester Central, girl. Victoria's Secret pink spandex that she wore that on our first date at the park and she did this like maneuver and at like, the park sold big, to the big, guy in the gray hair big spender huh you took her to the park yeah yeah <laughs> we're playing frisbee she's awful at it but she can was she wearing a sports bra at the time I believe she was um I think it was a matching sports bra See, I my told you I'll take all questions. Were braless, really? Sometimes I look at the old pictures from the seventies, and I yearn for those days. <laughs> if I get any fatter myself, I'm gonna have to wear a bra. <laughs> I, I saw a shaking head back there. <laughs> I, <laughs> you're you're editorial, co- we have an editorial content. One. You say I'm the reason why we don't get the replay at night. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm the reason. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. You're vinegar, and I'm vinegar. So you're saying that you actually thought you had the talent to be a baseball player? Oh, I did. Um, what was your position in high school? Stealing bases. What was your position in high school? Um, I'm vanilla. So you do, you didn't play like a really key position that might get a schlub. Uh, no, I played center field. I played center Gentlemen, field. if I may interject. Uh, indubitably, you're the host of the um, show today. Why you, is he sitting there? Did you not get your... Your all-star position because your dad was the coach. Okay. Who, <laughs> who did you talk to? Newt Kershaw about that? Your father was the coach of the Central team? First of all, Newt, we're, Little League. we're talking Little League here. At 11, you're eligible to make the all-star team. Me, your father put you on the all-star team? Me and this guy who never turned into anything, Newt Kershaw, literally started over me because my dad didn't want backlash for putting me in the starting lineup. So he got the boost. Because you weren't good enough. And then he got the confidence. Because he was good enough. He started a real estate crap. company, and now I'm me, and he's he. So Is that the guy that comes in? Well, the real estate company that talks about... Uh, the no, that was the happening. one time I put Who Wants to Be on TV on um, Mantras of Happenings. And the you, guy with the Illuminati? Yeah, it got me very angry. It got you very angry. You said you were going to punch me. Oh, that was a different time. No, that's when I tried, was going to strangle there you. There were several times. We, we've broken up at least six times. 
Hopping broken out. up. Okay. I didn't yeah. know we had a relationship. So. Put the phone down. You know, it's so irritating to try to watch the show and he's the host. He's always oh, there. Oh, well, I, that's where I have my notes, so I'm well, not. That's fine. I'm not you. using my phone. Well, it's his show, and he's it meets his birthday. Well, show. He's not supposed to be on the friggin'. Can we switch seats then? No. Uh, Kyle's the host, and I'm here to co-host. Well, it's confusing. You're the uh, whatever. Because when other shows happen, what do you, uh, you call them? Like the show the at nine. The show at nine o'clock. The host sits here. The object. Who's at nine o'clock? There's no show at nine o'clock. There's a show at nine o'clock on um, Wednesdays. There's no Two show people. at nine o'clock. Yeah, yeah. Used like to be the uh, morning. Uh, the guy from the morning show used to have a. No, show. at night. At night on this station. You you really can't get over that. You can can't you? get over him. How many times <laughs> has he uh, bo bailed you out? Dude, of, uh, JK, LOL. Being God. arrested or something. I would like to go to an, another I've never question, been arrested. Michael. Is he go the ahead. lawyer for you know who? I've never been arrested, so I wouldn't know. Go Is ahead, he the uh, lawyer for you know who? The no, going around no, doing no, 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 no. We're not doing that. Go ahead. <laughs> He's top. All right, so Michael, um, if your father was still alive, do you oh think he'd be God. proud of you? Yeah, I know he's proud of me. He tells me all the time. Um, he actually had a father? I thought you were, like, fatherless. No, it wasn't a B-word. A what? A what? A B-word? No, you know what I mean. So, Michael did have a father. Um, very aggressive man. He would chase kids down with a bat. Is that? Am I mistaken? He did that one time in a cul-de-sac. and um, He chased out the kids with a bat? They were just some random kids. Oh, yeah. He just went out and picked random kids to chase with a bat? They were sh shooting off um, fireworks, and one got in a pool liner. What would you do? He got in a pool liner? He's How lucky. was the pool liner open that it could get in? He came in the house, and he goes, he's lucky I didn't grab my fungo, because another inch I would have had him. <laughs> so your dad is proud that you are, you're an artist now. Do you support your art? I um, never even knew he had a father. He told me that I'm going to get a lot of pushback if I become an artist, but... So did John Lennon, and uh, look at us now. John Lennon was a rock and roll star. An artist, sure. though. Oh, no, he was a rock and roll star. He didn't make it as an artist. Bed piece. Artist perspective. Yeah, yeah. I think my dad just wanted me to not be divorced. Why is that? Because most artists end up doing that. I'm in a nominally. Is divorce on your mind right John, now? John, just real quick, can you say that again, that word? Anomaly? I'm in a nominally. An 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 it's an anomaly. Okay, very good. Anomaly. Right, anomaly. but you is, get the gist. Is divorce on his mind, Kyle? I know, Michael. Is divorce on your mind? Are you Trump? Are you inciting? It's not going to work. Are you, are, do, do, are you afraid of it? Are you afraid of that yes, your wife's going to divorce you? Of course you? I'm afraid of divorce. Who it's is It's your it? birthday, buddy. Don't relax. Well, I'm not okay. married, so I'm not afraid I'm of being divorced. I'm relaxed bro. I'm good. Um, I'm more Can relaxed than a Can I look at those $120 rats. glasses? 170 John. Oh. Yes, John. Yeah, pop them oh, on. Wow. Yeah, pop them on. It's fun. No, that would be uh, that's not worthy enough. That's three night in Taiwan. I didn't pay for it. Pay for it. So, what are your plans for your for oh, your I actual know. your actual birthday? I uh, May twentieth is my birthday. I also share a birthday with Ron from Manchester. Share George Clooney, um, a couple of dead people, Betty White. It's a nice laundry list of Betty White. Is it's dead. a good day. It, we're the cusp of. Was energy. she part of your couple of dead people? Uh, oh no, my God, you look awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, John, you look can we, you look you, super cool right now. Right, right. Oh, my God. I don't know if I can. I'm I winking, but you can't see it. Can folks. I take those back? Oh, wait, I don't think no, I can. No, no, take oh, your time. Uh, I've already, I've just smashed the mic. That's all right. Dude, we just the key is confidence. The, the key right. is confidence. It's okay. So anyway, yeah. Um, you, uh, why don't we continue Garth on about your exciting uh, we're life? We're going to Garth Brooks on my birthday. Is that the answer to your question? Garth we're Brooks? Going to Garth Brooks at Gillette Stadium Friday night. Boom. And uh, oh, we so got the good tickets. The, they were only, you know, medium range price, four fifty dollars apiece. Um, is she paying for it? Absolutely she is. My birthday. <laughs> but she wants to see them. We just so it's a, gift for, it's a gift for her. For you, for your birthday. We're not going to get premium unleaded. We're going to just go with regular to get there. So that'll save a You're little You're not on the floor. We're not on the floor because that's... Who, uh, Gillette Stadium. How many people are going to be there? The Garth will be way up there. We want to be in the ones. Okay. What does the ones mean? At Gillette, you have your lower tier, the ones. You have your twos. And then you get your... Sections. Nosebleeds. Sections. Why, so, why would you want to go to see uh, that at a just stadium? Just to be there, man. So are you excited? 
I'm excited. You know, it's been a while since we've um, gotten a minute. I mean, you might have failed since to mention. Since you've gotten to be together. But we, yeah, well, not even that. Although we could find a porta potty, I'm sure. Ooh, make a dumpster fir- baby. Yeah, make another porta potty baby. Yeah. Our new song. Hold the goalie. But Excuse me, uh, I'm having an attack of gas. Yeah, I know. Remember that? It was the 70s. So... What we want to do is, I want to just, I want to have her have a nice night out. We just had our baby. You just a had a lot of moving parts. Liberty, moving parts. Liberty she's, came uh, not just. She, how long has it been she, since Liberty? She's debuted? nursing at the time, so we're gonna have to do a pump at the intermission. I'm sure, um, but that's none of their damn business. Oh, ask her, ask her about the shortage of formula. How it's affecting? Yeah, how, how are you affecting the uh, the shortage of formula? How's that affecting you, Michael? It's it's called passive income. Um, it's just you're night. selling uh, your wife's breast milk. Of course, she doesn't know about it, but um, yeah, I grabbed the throwouts and I throw out jazz it up in a nice container. Why do you I, throw out breast milk? Well, does it go? Does she, it have like a a shelf life? She doesn't know the value in it. Um, it's huge in the muscle muscle building industry. Uh, Is it? Well, it's em- enormously huge. Um, Brent, pull the stats. I prefer the. I prefer <laughs> pronouncing it huge, like like D- Trump does. Well, what's huge? huge what's huge is I never mind. H, what's Asperger. happening is she's taking it. She's just relieving herself. Uh, the Doesn't baby, the baby get any? The of baby this? gets her fill, and then there's what extras. about dad? What about daddy? Listen, I told you there's extras. I like a good mudslide. <laughs> And there's a shortage of milk, so... Can't you put the camera you. back on him before I, <laughs> I start tearing up here? So, yeah, what if we down. segue away wave, uh, from this just for a moment? But yeah, I'm making good money. Go ahead. Good for you. How much before taxes, actually, are you making? Yeah, are you the one that well, bought him the glasses? You want to get in on it? No, I'm good. You know I, I Actually, I have, a, I have a real job. But do you know anyone else that's nursing? I know somebody that might want a nurse. Okay. Have a talk to my people. Uh, in fact, okay. it came to mind that the rover today. Next question. Brent, do you have a question for me? Well, when when is the show over? Why? The birthday boy? Come on. Now, what else is on your list, Kyle? Um, I've lost control of this like instantaneously. But you're the host, bro. Yeah. I, you are the host. I, well, the common misconception, apparently. Oh, you had questions ready? Yeah, you did. Of course I did. I had them, I had them written down. Uh, now my phone is is frozen. Do you want to go to the spanking machine? Or the Do you want me to take over? Uh, uh, I'll no, just no, I mean you, you are you guys are already. It's it's your show now. I'm just here to. Uh, no, it's your your. Uh, I, I was wondering if we were going to bring up the anal fistula. You in the back. Go ahead. The fistula. So what do, what do you, do you have any tangible besides no, the Garth Brooks anything uh, for my birthday? What do you plan to do with the uh, uh, before and after? Well, the I wanted Brooks to show? I wanted to announce the central baseball game at four. Unfor- Are you going to? I don't think we're going to make, I'm going to be able to if we're going to tailgate. And I want to show her a good time. So, What's he talking about? The Garth Brooks Project. It's at Gillette. Uh, concert, so. Well, how's he going to, what does boots. to do with the Central? My buddy might go just to, just to go tailgate. So, sh- again, you're trying to use Sorry, your I'm birthday to uh, compensate for your wife. Because Divor- you wanting to divorce you. She doesn't want to divorce me. It's just, um, everybody says the D word. Honestly, I mean, trial separation. Let's be honest, guys. What's this about? The you guys child? are the, awful at relationships. Did somebody buy That's these right. tickets, like her father or somebody else, no. the field, to try to? Uh, we did it for heal us. Heal the, the wound. Between so we're the married, John. So what's hers is mine, and what's mine is hers. Oh, we know about that. Huh? So, <laughs> what what so do we you each have? Get a ticket. We each get if a you were ticket. to liquidate all your assets, what do you have? Oh, God, so many Aside things. Aside from the breast milk. My mma is 92, and she's definitely leaving me a good amount of money. So there's that. Uh, Meme, do you know about that? She knows. <laughs> she Thank you. I, it might Very be good. the reason she's sticking around. i um, not sure. But you also have a brother, correct? Oh, yeah, I do have him. You have a brother? Yeah. What's his name? None of your business. Is he called Gonzo? It's Scott. It's Scott. He's also Gonzo, yes. He's probably listening. He's Polish, too, right? He's my brother. So he claims he's Polish. Scott's a good man. Scott's a great man. Is he man. a better man than his brother? Absolutely, yes. Yes, 1,000%. Uh-huh. Is he older than you? No, he's younger. 
Oh, you're one of the ones where the younger yeah. brother gets all the glory. No, it's like Kyle. To me, it's my older brother. Kyle's also older, but, you know. Oh, you're the older I'd brother. I'd say you're I more am, yes. handsome than, Ky- than uh, Cam. No offense, Cam. You're so young. Cam's a great person, though. A better person. He's definitely a better person, but yeah. more handsome is, uh, that's. He supports his wife? Uh, my brother, neither of us are married. Yeah, Clay- Clayton's. Divorce ratio is a hundred percent. No, I would say I would say about eighty percent. This isn't about the Clayton's. It's about the. Oh, Catholic. okay. Is your, not... is your brother married? Yes, no. he is. Does he support his wife? Of course he does. Oh. He's doing a great job. Does that give him more status in the Gonzalez clan? Well, my dad's dead, so it doesn't really matter. What did your father? When did your father pass? I didn't even know you had a father. He back. died um, today, three years ago. Oh. He died today, three years ago. It's your anniversary. Maybe a few days early. Uh, maybe a month. He died around your birthday? Yeah, around, like a couple months later, yeah. And that's what screwed you up when you were 41 years old? I was 42, I think. Yeah, 41, you're right. That's what screwed me up. I don't know if that yeah. was the thing. Did he I, ever beat you? I think. Are you talking about Peter White? No, I'm talking about you. Did he ever t- take a strap Just to, to the door. To, like he had the fungal path, right? Did my dad <laughs> beat me with a stick? Um, Fungal bat? No, he didn't. He didn't strike me. I, I feared him though. Did you ever have a fist fight with your father? We did get into it. Yeah, I did with my old dad. And did he's much bigger. He, than he, me. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. He just kind of blocked me and put me down and like said, "I will end you." Mm-hmm. That's kind of the way it always goes. I'm, I'm, I'm hearing. But my dad was my dad was a good dad. Right? I, my dad was a great dad, and uh, you know, I can only hope to be. 79 percent of what he was so what do you think what so percentage wise about. are you right now about 30 uh yeah 24 i don't know you 24 have, you, you have to ask my kids when they grow up have you considered getting a job um so i had brandon <laughs> other than that you got an lol congratulations Thank you. other than weeks. other than you know black market the breast milk Jesus. Like what if you like like what about like health insurance? I, I didn't call it a job. I call it passive income. Number one, your wife or, has a good job, huh? I'm thinking about joining the London Dairy Flea Market. <laughs> 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 Got a big grounds uh, <laughs> opportunity. What's the four K like there? Not really much rules. So I could sell anything. Could you could actually sell Al Baldessaro. No, no. I'm glad we had this talk. We press milk at the flea market. Michael, what about structure? <laughs> How much Structure. you got, how much you call asking for an uh, for ounce? Oh, I, uh, ten. I'm an old man and I need the fountain of youth. Dude, I just sold a Although batch I to Iowa tap. for seventy eight bucks. Iowa, in Iowa, yeah. Oh, we have a call coming in from Iowa about four forty. I don't believe you. Well, go ahead. I bet you five hundred dollars that we do get it. Okay. How much is Bre- that? We, Brendan, don't make any side bets now. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's it's right for, right uh, Gonzo, uh, can I get a sip? <laughs> God, I can't believe how fat I am. I used to like the old seats we had. You could hit the uh, this button, and then you just go right down. So you're yeah. only like up to here. Uh, and that would be up here, because we used to do shows. Well, I, back I shrunk back. down for you. you look no, like, you get fat. I'm going to... Well, you look I'm, like when, like... You so take your like grand. Rod. No, you look like when you take your grandkids in to see their dying grandfather. But like, <laughs> you're afraid of how they're gonna react when they see what you look like. Like, no, that's don't, what he felt no, like today. No, don't be scared. His gray's beard. His beard's different. He just looks different. He's tired. I've been writing like a lot. I felt like that over the last two days. And then they walk in and they just cry immediately. And then you just like, and you call him the wrong name. Oh, I, I have to cut this thing off. Do you have a knife? I don't know. I I, can we use knives? I, use my I don't teeth. think we can use knives, guys. Can we bite it off? Kyle, uh, you are the host of the show. Over to you. Clearly. Yes, yeah. next question. Um, do you have a knife? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think no it. knives. No knives. No, I didn't bring a knife. So um, is that for your is no, that for your arm, John? I don't bring weapons. Is that what you the, the uh, hospital thing? Oh, for the leg. Okay. Everything's fine, I folks. I have shoe polish, though. I'm just a big fatty. That's what it turned out to be. Don't sell yourself short. So what... Can I see that? No. What... There's no huffing shoe polish on the show, please. Um, what, I was going to go white face. So you have an elbow thing. You got a back <laughs> thing. You got a leg thing. Yeah, and I've got a huge gut, too. And a huge I got a gut. gut for okay. thing. Very good. You don't have a gut. In six weeks, I'm going to look like a young Robert Redford. Oh, yeah. Well, except that I'm bald. 
No, take that hat off again. Show the people. I'm not. Zoom you know? in on that. I love man. the hat. Do you want the Look glasses again? This is this is Sullivan c- Sullivan country. I can't folks. read it. Take it off and put it closer to the camera. Sullivan country. You look like Tom Hanks Have you in been Philadelphia any right there. Social big. intercourse with Victoria Sullivan lately, Gonzo. Um, social intercourse is a do you very mean, like. Weird. Have we been like talking online? Yes, that's social intercourse. I don't think it is. Yeah, it is. I don't even know what intercourse means then. Well, there's an intercourse Pennsylvania and a blue ball, and then there's a Hopwood Pennsylvania. Wow, you're edgy. Uh, what do you mean? These are actual places. Have you had in any interjections, perhaps? I uh, no, I haven't reached out. We're still friends on Facebook. She hasn't blocked me. God rest that. She finally blocked me. I, think I, I don't she, know why. I think if she runs again, she'll just narrow the gap and then, you know. <laughs> although, although, <laughs> did you? <laughs> Here's Mr. Prediction maybe, himself. Maybe, maybe next time, you know, I don't. I she don't know. is mar- She is flogging breast milk on her Facebook site. I think site if she can't win. For women that don't have uh, access to formula i think world ward 10 or ward 9 was her big shot to get back at the dance and it she didn't lost go terribly D- was it terribly oh yeah it's because they put 66 people in uh, a neighborhood that was for her uh, in another war i mean you, you know what i i respect you for trying i respect moose i respect her for trying you should run. how can you yeah, sit I mean, here we're gonna run Kyle. how can you sit here on your low horse and literally tell- that's that was very cutting Tell her that she got, da, 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 but you lose every time by a lot in for oh, lower yeah. positions. Like she's got the uh, 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 to go for it, you know. She does, and we need public I, servants. Um, I don't even know her. I would stick up uh, for anybody. Oh, though. I'm getting gas again. I just, you know, I'm I so happy to be sitting think, next to you. I think she's appealing to the eyes. That's all. <laughs> yeah, you. Okay, enough of this bolt. Uh, Kyle, um, next question, please. Uh, yeah, I would like to uh, just step away from the. Um, yeah, you might want these local you. politics. The, the just yeah, just the local. local poli- oh, we don't do the, politics. The, the oh, we do. Just, uh, just this all is this. Manchester famous. We do whatever we want. It's amazing how good at politics we are. By the way, well, go ahead. Uh, it's three men we should not be talking about. Okay. Why Wayne are your Gretzky? eyes so watery? Why my eyes were uh, because I no, had no, not a, him, not you. Oh, him. I was like I had a bunch of Chipotle uh, maple. Me too. Wings. What about Wayne Gretzky? Why don't we talk about Wayne Gretzky? Because uh, no, no, what are your three men contest? I mean, question three men. My yep. three men question. You I'm just gonna look at myself. You don't touch or whatever. And I have no idea what you're talking about. You said three men. Kyle, just look at the screen while you talk. I'm sorry. I'm, I, 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 it was very confusing to me. I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, Michael. look at the girl, the, the birthday girl, while we talk to him. Look at me. I can't look. At, you don't know where I'm looking. All right, Michael, let's ask another question. Um, Where's my cake? What? You don't get a cake. <laughs> Why do you get a cake? You have because a cake on the screen. I put it on the way home. Well, he didn't take it. I forgot about it. I'm sorry. Yeah. So This is called uh, the what's-his-name look. Who's the guy that always looks into the thing? It's a French name. A French Who's name? So? Uh, Kyle, that was a very good question. Uh, do you have another one? What do you want? What do you think? What do you want your kids to be? Do Do you just support that? Would, would they, if they were artists, hypothetically? It's a good question. Do you think they could persevere? It's a good question. Do you think they could find a woman or man to support them <laughs> for the rest of their lives? So by basically, you know. It's a good Doodling question. It's a good question. On buildings. You sound like every other norm out there. Here's a good the question you asked it. I would say no, I don't want them to be an artist because unless you absolutely have to be an artist, I'd say don't. Look at the camera. Because li- there you go. You it is, it's like um, a, a, a Vianon that said he pretty but we won't say the other part. Kids don't be an artist unless you absolutely have to be because all you're going to do... Unless you can find a woman to support you. Right. You or a man or somebody of an unspecified gender. Thank you, John. Yeah. Way to clarify That's all that. That's a really nice shot, don't you think? Oh, let's go back to Gonzo. Look, I mean, you got the birthday cake on both sides I mean, and Hop- the holiday. Hop- 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 not always wrong. He's, he's right on this one. Um, <laughs> I am? <laughs> yeah, art is a tormenting thing because you're always feeling unfulfilled you always want to make it's like something. Hem- it's like a bad case of hemorrhoids yeah, after going to a mexican restaurant taken up in like most Getting girls wrong. unless they're artists aren't supportive and you don't want to date a girl artist because they're complete train wrecks themselves is that why you refuse to let me and kyle meet your wife 
Uh oh, no, let's keep it on uh, Gonzo. How you never met my wife? I still have not met your uh, wife. No. Stare at the camera. We're, we're doing a new aesthetic now. This is my art. Manipulating all you guys. I'm actually going to cut you. There's cut no you formal there reason go. why I haven't had you guys meet the beautiful Michelle. You, I was supposed to. Your wife invited me, and there was another dame there, and I wanted to meet her, and you wouldn't let me in the house. Is that true, Michael? You said that she said very cutting things about you, and uh, you figured that the two of us, because oh, you know, I always give you a lot of crap. John, you yeah. Are <laughs> yeah. Sharp I said I can't. Yeah, I said it. Um, uh, yeah. yeah, she would probably have rejected me anyways. No, no, I'm well, only five feet. I tall. didn't want. I didn't want. Which you is exciting for someone. In a conversation with anybody at my house. Your wife would have adored the, me. That's the pleasantries the would be gone. Quick. I got along with your niece. Right, she. You're right. Who you was did. a real firecracker? You're right. You did get along with her. She was. She kind time. of irritated me because I don't have any kids. Your nephew doesn't like me either. Uh, you're not looking. You're, uh, wait, wait, what? 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 Draco? I know the this one I hit with a baseball. Oh, that's Tyler. He's a cryass. Keep staring ahead. Yeah, we just look see at the camera. Just focus. But also, I you literally hid me in your basement. I don't like to this not game anymore. He doesn't have the discipline to. It's just your keep birthday, looking. dude. It's your it's your birthday. So just this focus. This is all about you and your ego. So why can't we meet your wife? I like the t the birthday cakes on both sides of you. That's we want we want to <laughs> meet your wife. What's a, you can invite me and Kyle. You know we kind of like cancel each other out. He's cool and I'm a. Here's the thing. You're also cool. You're totally well, welcome to meet my wife. It just circumstances haven't. What if we bring some like side dishes? Like I'll bring a nice casserole. Right. And bring some. Uh, can you bring some other women to the house? Well, uh, you no. Know, this is a personal personal yeah. meeting. Sisters yes, that, like, I mean she would feel people. more comfortable if there were more girls on our triple date for sure. That's what they told me at the VA. My only chance was to get some uh, widow or divorce. <laughs> oh, back to him. Widow or it's easier to confess these things uh, while you're not on camera. Some widow or divorcee to support me because I'm certainly not doing a good job at it myself. So have you have you explored that or? I try, but look at the, look at me. Have you been to any random funerals? <laughs> What am I? Uh, am I Joe Kelly Lavassa, a lawyer looking for uh, clients? No, you're looking for love. Looking for love in all the wrong places. Looking for nub. Surgeon. Ear nib. Bro, listen to your doctors. I want to be a gigolo, so give us some tips. <laughs> well, how did you? Your job. How did you do it? I told you. I don't Googled look at Michelle's us. in the <laughs> area. Oh, that's BS. No, how do I do it? I, I just make you laugh. Uh, Put your microphone down so we can see your handsome face. Do you want your, the shades your machi your, Look at all that machismo. Throw your shoulders back now. Yeah, get, get the posture. Oh, Jesus. Now, I want there you to put go. your heads behind your hand like the cops have arrested you and not start flexing your guns. But I wouldn't know because I've never been arrested. <laughs> yeah, I believe that. No, well, I've actually, never been arrested, but I've had a cop almost. He, he, I was drunk when I was a young guy. You were in San Francisco. You had a cop. No. <laughs> I was in Boston at a Johnny Rotten concert, and my girlfriend kicked a, a guard. Oh, they were all ex-cops. Uh, Kyle, do you have any more uh, questions? I have lost control of everything that's going on right now. No, you haven't. You Do you your brought, job. You brought us down the path to talk about how to be a successful gigolo. Do your job. How to get a woman to support a poor, First sensitive all, guy like myself. I know. A gigolo is not that. A gigolo is a uh, man of the night. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, like Ryan. Uh, well, we can't mention. I'm his not name. a man of the night. I am a person. You're that. You're too lazy to go I'm out. I'm married. Night. Um. No, I think you're just getting the the What's definitions. Who bought the ring? Who bought the rings? You're thinking. Shut up. Are you wearing you're a ring? About a trophy husband is the word you're looking for. Oh well, I don't know if you're a trophy, but. Well, I want to know what you have yeah, that I can ribbon. use to get a woman to support okay. me. Okay. Well, v Vianon won't um, support me. Tact, um, height. Height. There's the one. We like thing. that. It's okay. I, my sister, when we we're cleaning out their house, she threw away my uh, platform shoes. She <laughs> hadn't worn them in 30 <laughs> years. I said, I, could, I still could. I used to have these real, these pump Cuban heels. John, what do you like in height? You have to make up with in confidence. I well, what I like in height, I'm making up in girth nowadays. Well, you've got to stop Thank accentuating God. the, uh, <laughs> the gut region. Accentuate the positive. Oh, my. Exactly. 
Yeah, I'm just an average guy. I, see I that problem too. Charlie. You're not an average guy. And if you guys want my advice, I can help you with it. Okay. Oh, God, I, do you, are you the one that writes the letters in the morning show? No, about he, the advice? no they write them because of me. Oh, they call well, me doctor now. Okay. No. Let's hear. It. Let's let's hear it from Kyle. You okay? Yeah, I'm, I would just have a. Tear what in can my John do? No, no, to, no, no. This is your to show. live his golden years happy. You don't want to be too. Um, you want to try to be persuaded. You hey, want them. Doing a show. <laughs> we're really not. Is if your friend wants out, to, is your friend out there? Anyone wants to interject, please. Want, there's want, somebody out here wants to come on. Our show's sinking rapidly. We we never float. We never floated. It's been a. Oh, it's we have a call show. coming. That's the in. name of the show. Oh, very it's just in time. Hi, uh, welcome to on, uh, wait, the wait. Manchester Hi, famous edition of uh, it's Gonzo's birthday show. Hi, who's this? Is it anybody from Iowa? Yes, this <laughs> is Eric Pilcher from win the Classic bet. Film Reviews with Eric Pilcher calling. Oh, I you know he that. said that nobody from Iowa would be calling today. So he lost the bet. Five hundred dollars. Five hundred American dollars. I love Eric. I, well, well, well. You know, it's this was pre-planned, so someone had some <laughs> insider Eric! information. Boy, he's got you. You're, you're you got a big mouth, go, uh, buddy. You weren't making it military intelligence. Last time we talked about that, you. Hated it. No, people win bets all the time off inside information. Well, now the sure bet's canceled. Wrong. So, do you want to review my life, Eric? I was using my uh, uh, my so-called telepathic skills. The only people that knew about this were you, me, and Brendan. There they go. Hey, uh, we got the two, the, the two biggest slackers in the Queen City here. Is there anything that you think on Gonzo's birthday show that you could add to our show? We were talking about I how to be a gigolo. <laughs> Well, I don't know anything about being a gigolo, um, so Gonzo I can't does. add anything to that. But I can add something to the slacker element. Oh, um, you can. This, fri this, this Friday, I will be reviewing what some, I believe, mistakenly call a slacker film, Dazed and Confused. Slacker. I mentioned that movie when we were doing our Slacker episode. Now, is, is the reason you're doing that film is because Gonzo, the gigolo, mentioned that <laughs> when we were doing the Slacker episode, which we did that episode for Kyle. No. Correct. Yeah. No, it isn't. I, oh. This month, I kind of wanted to do like a coming-of-age vibe with it being graduation. Uh, uh, well, so that's I wanted fast. to have Time's the two films right. that I think are the best coming-of-age films stories in The Graduate and Days Been Confused. I always thought The Last Tango in Paris was the best coming of age film, no, even if he was 47 years old. I thought you were doing a Jason London marathon. Who's Jason London? Rainbow Pink Floyd. <laughs> Ooh. So, a coming of age one. story. Kyle, His you... was in Mallrats. Okay, yeah. uh, uh, Jean, Jean, Eric, yeah. you have to behave yourself. The host today is Kyle. Kyle, do you have any questions for Eric? I mean, just for the record, I have, I have no quarrels against you. I've do you know never, who this is? Yes, like, I know. Well, yes. Oh, of course you bring I'm a up fan. the fact that Gonzo says our movie reviews are boring? I, no, I, I never no, said no, that. No, I didn't say that. His you said that right his, his reviews are great. It's you. It's your show. Oh, it's Eric, I'm bor the bored. Eric, oh, as the co host of the show, um, I just want to say I deeply enjoyed our time together uh, previously. Um, I'm not necessarily a slacker, but I did. Um, I do enjoy the slacker films. So, if you'd like to elaborate on why Daisy Confuse is a slacker film, I'd love to uh, hear your two cents on that. I, I don't. I don't classify it as a slacker film because these kids are. They they are thinking about their future. Camera on Gonzo. Quick. To a degree. <laughs> you have Pink <laughs> considering bailing on yeah. football. Right. And you have or the four, freshmen four. who are thinking about what their lives are going to be like. And keep in mind that throughout this whole movie, is it's 1976. It's America's bicentennial. Oh wow! So there's a lot of changes coming, and <laughs> and so the, I I don't think they're slackers. I think they're just more living in the moment. Which some people will say, well, that's the epitome of a slacker. It is. But I always I disagree that. because they're living their. The, the life they want to live. I mean, Wooderson isn't a slacker. He works for the city. Matthew McConaughey's character. 
Gonzo doesn't have no. a job. No. He just enjoys his time off. I, no so I don't my either. Pocket, you yeah. think it's more like, like kind of like a Breakfast Club thing or coming of age jail is what you're you're saying? No, that movie's badass. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I do Which think one? it is a coming of age story, Jesus, Jesus. and I think Richard Linklater did an amazing job with it. And I think it's his best film, even though Boyhood is far more acclaimed than Dazed and Confused. That's a fair. That's a fair take. I think Back to the Future is a coming of age story as well. Yeah, but then they come back. Ian, a slacker movie. It is because he's called slacker by the principal the whole time. He is slacker. Yes. Oh yeah. I only saw the first one. Well, there you go. That's your I was in the one. army for the I other two. <laughs> back to the Future is such a great series because mm. if you watch them back to back to back, yep. you find very very minimal continuity errors, which is quite rare in movies that have more than two films. These uh, movies... Because the writers just lose track, but they did a very good job of telling a great story. Is... I even like the third one, and some people bash that. Yeah, the Western, Eric, yeah. is that a criticism of Godfather 3, which we never get around to? Because I forbade it. Oh, you got three I, views I've on the line. told you, John, I don't hate Godfather 3. Uh, but I do. I think it works well as a standalone film. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it's not so your birthday, Eric. Coppola's performance is awful, take, take, take but I think it's take misunderstood. Kyle. And this I think if you really look at it objectively and watch it, you can find great things about it. So, I do. Uh, I think it is a muddled sorry, did I, in some did I get areas. The, that raspberry Coppola's over performance is awful, but I still enjoy it. So, Eric, you're saying if it if it's a standalone film, not as the third of the the prior Good two Godfathers, question. it would be it would be a still more sucks. critically acclaimed. Still stinks. That question sucks. No, 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 no. It, it, you it, having it as a standalone right film right doesn't change the flaws it's I amazing. listed, How unfortunately. Like but I. I I've told people that have never seen The Godfather, my advice is watch one and two back to back because mm. that's the way you're supposed to. It's one whole story. Oh, then no wait idea. a week or two and watch three. And I think you get a better appreciation of it as being somewhat separated from one and two. It's the bookend of the story. It isn't meant to be a part of the story. If that makes sense. So, like, tying the knots together? Oh, Do you God. think that Sophia P uh, Coppola's character is a slacker? Tying the knots? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Daddy does everything <laughs> for her. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bonafide slacker. Ooh. Kyle, what would you say? Um, as a... What's your my, favorite bonafide movie? What's my, your favorite bonafide movie? My favorite... Bon bonafide movie. Not boner, boner. I said boner. It's tomato, tomato. <laughs> Are we going back to fast times at Ridgemont I? I articulated that very well, thank air. you. Probably Rookie of the Year, right? Um, rookie of the Year is a boner film? favorite slacker film. No, it's not a boner. That's a, I, I, I think we did touch... Uh, I said coming of age story. I think My Girl and My Girl 2 are perfect oh, examples coming of, age show? of um, how she changes from part one to part two. I think uh, The Matrix is my favorite coming in of age show. In part one, she's yeah, very ugly. Sure. In part two, she's even uglier. <laughs> I, I, don't, I, I don't know if I quantify or qualify, sorry. The Matrix is a coming of age film, but it is quite good. Uh, it's a and coming of age show. I yeah, really, it, really it, it, none of the sequels. Uh, Re uh, uh, Resurrections. None Wait, of the what? sequels and My Girl and My Girl 2 are amazing films that I forget about quite a bit. Oh, yeah. So thank you for reminding me, You're Gonzo. You're welcome. I'll send Do they take place away. in Austin, Texas? Where, no, they don't. Where Gonzo's wife wants to relocate, it's but he not, is. Not, uh, kick, is there a film Kicking and Screaming? There is with Will Ferrell, yes. Oh, that's right. He is a kind of Will Ferrell type, isn't he? I made it to the yes, point. That's very accurate. Which Better is, looking. It's going to be too expensive to, uh, to leave me on. at this point. I made it. I did it. Oh, so by impregnating her, you Alamonia. don't have to leave Manchester yep. anymore. Yep, I did it. I knew that was what you were up well, to. Well, you couldn't if you wanted to now. And now you're trafficking in her breast milk. I didn't milk. even want to impregnate her. It was oh, all, that's crap. It was all a trick. <laughs> it was all a trick. Chicanery. So, Gonzo, sometimes <laughs> it wasn't the, even what you. we intend has the best ending. Oh, yeah. You, you're, you're right. You gotta stay in Manchester and spend time with John Hopwood and by proxy, <laughs> me. 
I want he John, thinks we're boring. I want John to find love and then I'll leave him. I'll leave him be. He's he's got a crush on I'll me. I'll release you like a like a, you're training he's a kid to ride a bike. Sometime when he was a boy, he, he had a carnal fixation on Mr. Magoo. You did come. Do people watch did Mr. I? Magoo I, cartoons anymore? Yeah, he I was really anymore, hot, no. hot crap when he I was. He wasn't hot crap. He was popular. Um, Mr. Magoo was the uh, was the the. Oh, I can't use that term. He was. Really big in the 60s. Oh, it was a positive. Hot crap is a positive. Well, I happened? understand what you're saying now. I used to like Donald Duck when I was a kid, too. Oh, yeah, of course. Who doesn't like Donald the can Duck? Can you do Donald Duck voice? I bet Kyle, you I can do a Donald Duck voice. I could not do a Donald Duck voice. I'm not a good, <laughs> if I'm not a good voice guy. Anybody can do a Donald Duck voice. I, wh what does that even mean? Can you? I can do a uh, remote control. I can't do a Donald airplane. Duck voice. No. What? See. Ah, suck, Mickey. You're, you're yeah, getting that's actually, that's pretty good. In the 60s, there were only three channels because they didn't even have PBS. So we watched the wide uh, wide world of Disney. Disney was now. even alive. When Walt Disney died, Dick Van Dyke had to come on and tell Dude, his kids nah, that he was gone. All these words. All right. Who else would you rather you have at that time? just two words in one name. Dick Van Dyke? No. So if... if Hypothetically, you were Disney. Yeah, two bad words. If you're Disney, <laughs> who and you have you have Not that kind of, show. If you have that kind of power, who are you going to bring in to tell your kids that you dead that you're dead at that time? <laughs> in 1966, right? You're going to bring Dick Van Dyke in, one thousand percent. Right. Yeah, because yeah, he'd been I, Mary I Poppins. think that's an or Mr. Rogers, maybe. Mr. That's Rogers true. wasn't true. around. It's not believable. He's typecasted. That Mr. Rogers wasn't around. It was Dick Van Dyke who'd been a Mary Poppins. Yeah. Which every kid was forced to see that film. I, I, I hated it until I was much older. And then I, I realized uh, Julie Andrews was a sex music pop. music class. Oh, yeah. You, did you act in it? What was that? Did you act in it? Did you act Mary Poppins? <laughs> who played Mary Poppins? No, our teacher, our teacher had resigned. And basically for the last month of the school year, She's she pregnant. phoned it in. Was she pregnant? Uh, so she... No, she went to like a great show. become a do something with the Cedar Rapids Orchestra, and she phoned it in. Literally, oh, she geez. didn't care anymore. I, the filthy things that come to mind. Trombones. I forgot this was Seventy-six in trombones I, in a marching band. I call flute. <laughs> Everything's up to date. No, that's Oklahoma. Wait a minute. Everything's up to date. So up to she would just show random musicals in class, like Mary Poppins, Mary uh, Poppins, Jungle Book, Mary Poppins. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty sweet deal, though. I hate Mary Poppins until he's much older. Dick Van like, Dyke. It was. Julie really Andrews is a in sex pot. So like, oh, man, Andrew Lansbury. Quit? <laughs> this Battle is awesome. Bag. Eric, I'm sorry. There's some, there's some cross some cross. He thinks Angela there. Lansbury's sexy. A young Gonzo. Angela Lansbury. What do you think? In, in Gaslight, 1944? We sh hey, we, you don't watch your own show, I guess. But we showed her. We hey. did. We actually we did, yeah. I think... Uh, also, Angela Lansbury? I, I'm a little confused. Do you think Angela Lansbury is sexy? I thought we were talking about Julie a young, Andrews. A young Angela? Yeah, I do. Um, I think you're <laughs> crazy if you don't. Is Eric. that why we can't meet your wife? Because she looks like Angela Lansbury? I wish, bro. Like That'd be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> like, <it's> just... <laughs> it's, 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 LOL of the day. Do you have all the seasons of Murder, She Wrote, Gonzo? I actually saw her on, on the set of uh, Murder, She Wrote. <laughs> What? At the Universal Tour, <laughs> we uh, we confirmed that um, the WWF, really? uh, the Wrestling Federation, had actually ruined her career. Angela Lansbury, correct, because yeah. it was the same time slot, and that was the uh, the demise of Murder She Wrote. Unfortunately, well, she figured it out. Do you yeah. think Ooh, Gonzo? That is a very accurate depiction. No. That's a ve that's I didn't even uh -oh, think of that. Yeah, again. Vince McMahon <laughs> killed Angela Lansbury. Yeah, people don't talk about that, Eric. I told Do you, you I think Gonzo? Oh, okay. Gonzo's actually Polish. Gonzalez is a Polish name, according to Gonzo. He's Does close. he resemble Lawrence? Uh, 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 Lauren Dern. Not Lauren Dern. Who played uh, yes. Lawrence Fishburne? Yes. <laughs> I, I think no, we're talking a couple of Lawrence Olivier. We're talking. Uh, Lawrence, Gonzo. We're talking about. We the have Lithuanian to bring him up actor. once a day. Who played uh, in uh, the movie with Frank Sinatra and Angela Lansbury? I didn't know they were in. Uh, please help me, Wait, Eric. What Sinatra was the movie? had a love scene with Manchurian Lansbury. Manchurian, but with Larry, with Lawrence. Wait, wait. Did they love each other? What was his name? Harvey. What? La yes, it was the Manchurian Candidate. Do you think that Gonzo, who claims he's Polish, looks anything like Larry Harvey, who was Lithuanian? 
Objection, Your Honor. Show, okay, let's fo let's let's go right in straight, on uh, Gonzo's face. <coughs> May I approach? The show bench? your profile. Show your profile. No, yeah, side. Don't do that. Come do on. I did it the other day. I just show my you just show my show mullet. your profile. Just take your hand. I I could see like in the top half of the face, certainly. So he I, is I'm Polish. I'm looking at a picture of him. Don't look at my body. I always thought he looked like a Castilian, you know, Spanish, but he claims Gonzalez is a Polish name. Only in Manchester, and we pick your president. That's right. That's right. Kyle, do you have any questions of finishing up? Because we're running out of time for Eric of <laughs> Iowa. Um, Eric, I just... Um, it's how do not you, his birthday. How do you, it's not yours either. How do you deal with this? Why do you, why do you, why do, you do this? Because why do you call he's in? funny, and he you gets You have so it. much tolerance. I really appreciate you. Because he loves a good, a good guest. Oh, no. He's because from Iowa. I really enjoy having conversations with because, John Hopwood, and huh? you and Gonzo are just fun. I appreciate <laughs> that very much. He just knocked but over the I, 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 I would love to just sit and polish. talk with you guys for hours on end, all three of you, really. You'd have to be, be at a bar if it's going to be more than an hour. <laughs> yeah, we, well, I mean, we got time to kill, but we can always we can always uh, incorporate that at some later uh, date and point. Oh, they have their own podcast. Yeah, you can sponsor. But they're shirtless when they you broadcast. Money. Sometimes. Well, you're trying to get the girls I, I, to take I'm their socks off. If I'm ever on there, I will remain shirt on. But <laughs> that if that would be great. You guys, I really all I always enjoy conversing with Kyle and Gonzo. I appreciate that very much, Eric. Thank okay, you. thank you very much. We're going going to be storming the Matt Connerton show at 5 o'clock uh, Eastern the time. Piece you oh, if you I want to hear. I will be watching, so uh, yes, I will, I will, I will oh. cause chaos in the Facebook chat if now, you guys do it in the studio. We would like you to create an avatar for the Matt Connerton Unleashed show and ask about the nude photos that Glenn R.J. Olette, the People's Mayor, posted on that dating site. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Thank you very much, Eric. Till yes, next sir. week. No what? problem. Bye. I have more questions than I answers have... now, but you guys have a good time. <laughs> Was this during his um, libation period? Ask Joe LaBasser. He's the one who revealed it. Wow, he does that. Huh? Sits, I don't know if he was totally he's nude. He's going to be sitting right where I am now. Why don't you come in, uh, on Glenn's show? Glenn, Glenn likes a handsome guy. I want to come on Joe's show. Joe doesn't want you on his show. What's, it's, it's, it's the, what's her name again? Virginia or Vanessa? Victoria. Oh, we got an incoming call. Hi, is there anybody there? We only got like one minute left. Well, one minute. I gotta say, all these guys shouldn't be gigolos. You should respect your wives and women and go to work. I, 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 I mind your own work. Degree, business, but, lady. You know, uh, I'm going to work right after the show. Thank you. Yeah, it's not okay. your business, not your birthday. Ooh. Well, anything left oh, to I say, I didn't know Kyle. Michelle was listening. Can you sum up the show? Uh, you know, it was your first time yes, hosting. Yes, it's your job. Um, I, you did a great job. Thank you. I, I you feel like it was more doing a color com commentary than anything. Um, well, color is a word we don't use here. Uh, no, in sports it is. Um, Still? Yeah, it's yeah. the second banana. I no, he was the first banana. You were the third banana today. I think this is, in Gonzo's probably you. top 25 birthdays. Yeah, well, on I, that note, uh, because we're not going to let Gonzo even have a glance, on, anything personal. left. Uh, thank you, can, folks. Can I say thank you. Gonzo will be back in two weeks Wait, with what? a political activist, be, and Wait, uh, on, he will be, you know, doing his thing. Thank you. Until next time. Bye.